So I don't even know how you feel with my brother. I don't even know exactly how you feel with my brother. Right? So I don't even know how you feel with my brother. So what exactly do you do? You just on clothes, bags, or you just do it all? I started off doing clothes. But then I realized that like I had made a, I made a shirt for some eye for Drake. And I seen him again. I was like, you still have the shirt I made? Like, Brian seen that shirt forever. And I was like, damn, I'm gonna be making stuff for people that I'm that I fuck with heavy. I want them to have it forever. Yeah, so then yeah. I was like, I'm gonna start fucking with leather goods, because if you get a good leather bag, you yeah, never throw it away, you keep it for a lifetime. Good leather bag, good leather jacket. Yeah. So I really like my specialty is leather goods and accessories. But I still got a passion to make clothes because it's like certain stuff that just don't exist that I be wanting. And I got the resources. Like I own all the machines. Like I own probably like a couple hundred thousand worth of like equipment. To make clothes and get so if you was like, can you make me that? this jacket? I sew that jacket at my house. I got like four sewers. Like these some pads. Look at these for me. These man made these like Japanese nylon. They got the cargo pocket. They the short joint, but I made the pocket so it covered the kneecap. It's and these. I like have my knee. They unzip it the knee so you can turn it in the short, then they got water resistant pockets. You made these? Yeah, from scratch. I put the top, I put the draw cords on the side instead of the front so it don't got the shit. You just pull it from the side and tighten it. You made these? Yeah. <laughs> like from raw material, like I buy the fabric, cut the fat. That's my pattern. What, the zippers and all this? You did all this? All of this. Even the branding on the zipper. DR14, that's my brand. That's fine. Work is crazy. Like, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to be the next Louis Vuitton. That's the goal. And and not just branding. Like, I make, like, like in an industrialist way. Like, no, I, get what you, I, trust I want you. to get I to get the point where we ma master the manufacturing and we master the distribution. So when, like, young boys is trying to, like, make a clothing line, they can come like, to me and I can help them manufacture it. Where like if you come to me with sketches or if you come to me with something you're trying to do, I have a factory where we can make it. That's these good. shits. Good. So I call these, I made these for these is so we call these get money y'all. I'm sure y'all call these get money job times. But what I did, and I'm sure you've seen people put the Goyard check on here before, right? No, but the Goyard check got magnets on them. So you could take the check off and flip it around. Right. And then obviously I just put it in the little the get money Shit. bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna these on TV now. I gotta get some Goyard shit. You yeah, had the fucking trunks and all that, nigga. Yeah. What the fuck? I can't. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta do these. I gotta. Mm mm mm. I'm gonna put these on camera. Ladies and gentlemen, freezing temperatures on top of saw. Hell of nasty outside. Nasty weather. Uh, Saturday. Uh, mid 40s. Mid 30s. Come on. Freezing temperatures. I put fleece in there to keep the neck warm. I just be trying to think of all the little shit. Put that little bad fleece is, there. Yo, cool. Cuzzo, get my boot, get my black Timberlands out of the car. Mm -hmm. I told, you know, niggas be hating, hate, mad at me because I be like, I don't be dissing them, but I just be, I be wanting to know, I be wanting niggas to know, like, you, you stupid. I be told that, like, bro, niggas. Man, show me some real shit. Put two D's on that shit. Jeez. Bro, you really know how to make clothes, bro. I don't know what the fuck is your problem. I don't know what's going on. We gonna pipe you up. I'm gonna let niggas know about this shit, bro. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. It's crazy because that's how it's supposed to look. You know what I'm saying? It's just like some East Coast shit. Like, it's like I'm out there. Wild, I'm on some old shit, kind of. It's, it's luggage, so it's classy. I'm classy blood, man. You heard? <laughs> this shit right here, you been making olive green? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need that. Yeah. I need all that. Set it up. This size right here, perfect. Pipe you up. Have anybody want this shit? Yeah. I'm here with the UV guy. <laughs> <laughs> they kept asking me, like, how you make that? How you make that? So I put the blueprint for how to make one with the instructions on the tag. It's hidden on the shirt, but you can't see it. Like, Unless you got the light. <laughs> Fire, see? <laughs> That's the key. So you gotta buy the, the, the fucking... Bro, but I ain't tell that. nobody. I, I, I ain't tell nobody. Everybody bro, was like, yo, when you gonna release the pattern? I pattern? need you to make... Like, I need you to make long john shirts, hoodies. I need to do a whole video like this with the bro. black light hitting everybody. The shit's going. The shit is glowing with different shit coming out of it. Like, what? 
Nigga. I was crying. No doubt. I was like, oh shit, got You know when you talk, I said, shit, you go to get it for a check. You know what I'm saying? Shit, talk. Give me the talk. Appreciate you, bro. What color you want? Vest, the army shit looking like bang. Oh my god. You want you want one made out of red bandana? Oh! Talking about this red bandana, why you keep doing this, bro? You got a gang banging out this bitch. Like, it is good to you. I just, I love the culture. I'm gonna make you a red one. I just need a real time. Give me like, uh, I just need like a week, cause I'm about to go to Turkey tomorrow. When I get back, I'm on it. Yeah, I ain't tripping. You need videos in the next couple weeks anyway. I'm gonna make you a red one, I'm gonna just ship it to you. Alright, bro.